Capricorn. Hello there, my beautiful friends. We're going to do your bonus general tarot reading for February 2024. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know, I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business as always and start you off with an oracle card here just so we could dip our toes in energy and see what's happening for the lovely Cappies out there. Hope you're all doing fabulous and fantastic, my friends. As you can see, you're next up on deck for your bonus reading. And we're going to take a brief little look at the energy across the whole month as opposed to the usual week to week. So we're going to start off by taking a quick look at this first card. Then we'll get into the full reading itself. And at the very end, I'm going to pull you a shadow card, a bonus card from the Tarot of Sacred Kingdoms. We're switching up the shadow deck. So let's get it going here. Let's rock and see what we got for Capricorn, please. My gods, talk to me. What's happening across the month of February for my friends, please? And the deck is being very specific. That's very Capricorn-like energy if I've ever seen it, right? A little particular, a little specific. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. All right, so this could be someone very much in the headspace here. Okay, now it doesn't have to be you. And I will mention that I often see this card in water sign readings mostly. It's very daydreamy and imaginative. And there's a lot of nuance to, the re to that card as well. But before we fully dive into it, if you're new here, I'll be speaking about the February subscriber surprise towards the end, so you might want to check that out. Also, if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it right on its third eye, you know I'd greatly appreciate it. But enough of the promo into the reading. Let's talk a little bit about this card. So the aesthetics of it are kind of fun, right? It's actually a beautiful card. We see the little clown ballerina on the bottom. She's having a little nap, taking a little snooze. But this one's up there walking on a tightrope. And I always interpret this card as this one, dreaming about doing that or daydreaming or thinking about doing this so this card absolutely points to somebody who has a lot on their mind or they're thinking quite a bit now for some of you out there in this time you might be daydreaming a little more than you normally are you might be up in the mind up in the thoughts but this could literally be somebody you're connected to as well where spirits saying like hey they're up in their head about something like they are really thinking something through when this card shows up. Now, there are good tones to this card as well. It's not just daydreaming and overthinking. To me, this could also be extra imaginative or good for planning the future. So for a lot of Capricorns in this time, it could be a very good time to plan out your month, plan out your year, plan the next five years. Okay, so we're just going to put this down right there. Let our little clown friend take a little nap. Let's get into tarot now. And yeah, we're just going to take, I'm going to pull you three cards here in the upright. And yeah, I always say that first card, it doesn't make or break the reading. Let's shuffle it up here. And while we get this deck ready, let's talk about the last reading we had for you, my friends. It was a few days ago, right? This past weekend. And it was titled A Massive Change. And I've been seeing that around a few zodiac signs. But for a lot of Capricorns, there could be a lot of things shifting in your life. Whether it's things within you, personal feelings, situations, work, rom romantic, you name it. There was a huge energy of change so we're going to see what shows up for this bonus reading. Remember, it's going to be across the whole month of February. So let's get these first three cards out here and see what's up. And yes, as you know, energy is very fluid, never set in stone. So only take this how it hits for you. Because we could be seeing your vibe or someone that you're linked to. So let's get it going. Three cards for Cappy. Bonus February. What do we got? Okay, yeah, someone's in the feelers here. We have the Five of Cups. Okay, hope that's not you, my friends. That could be a little bit of a difficult energy to deal with. Let's get a couple more. Because that's just our starting place, right? Wow. All right. Tons and tons of water here. We have the High Priestess. We have Mystery. Yeah, I'm seeing some big themes already here, Capricorn. So we are going to absolutely want to dive into this deeper. We got the moon on the back end. Big Piscean energy for a lot of you. Pisces season, which does kick in towards the end of the month, could be very important. But let's go through. I'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes, and we'll get into the juicy, intuitive stuff. So I first look, first glance, I know I was already speaking about it. Elementally, tons of water. So if you're connected to a water sign, they were showing up in the Oracle. They're showing up all over the place in the spread itself. But for some Capricorns, the emotions are very important in this time. So whether it's emotional changes you're going through or situations you might be dealing with are really going to want to dive deeper. But another thing, there's some implied mystery here as well. There's something about the unknown. So let's go through piece by piece and really start to build this story out. Position number one, the five of cups. As I already mentioned, 
it's somebody in their feels a little bit. You see that person looks like they're crying, they're upset. Now, I always say with challenge cards like this, it could be on a spectrum. It could be something extremely minor all the way up to something very major. So for some of you, maybe you're a little gloomy, right? This could represent a gloomy day. It could be depression, things like that. And remember, this doesn't just have to be your energy. It could be somebody else that's really going through a tough one. Now, there is a silver lining with the Five of Cups, because although some of the cups are spilled and this person is going through a problem or some sort of situation, some of the cups are still standing. There's things off in the distance. So there is potential for recovery when we have this card, okay? I, that's a meaning I always like to infuse with this card. Even though it's trying, even though it could be a tough situation, what have you, there there is a chance for recovery with the Five of Cups. Now, moving over to the center, this is where we get a little bit of that shrouded energy. We have the High Priestess herself. Now, classically, this does link to the Pisces Collective, same could be said with the moon, but when it comes to the High Priestess, I link her to all water signs, so Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. She is the matron of psychics, intuitives, and tarot readers, so you might be feeling things on an extremely deep level. Your intuition might be trying to tell you something. Your empathy could be heightened. Whether you're born with these gifts or not, I would not be surprised if the energy of those around you are affecting you in a very big way. This could represent emotional connections, energetic cords with people, places, and things. So it's super important that you protect yourself energetically here when High Priestess is in the mix. Once again, she is coming from a place of balance, but she's not speaking much. So this could be something you're not speaking about, something you're feeling, keeping within. There is an energy of suppression here, but she is all about the secrecy as well. Same could be said with the moon, which we're just about to move up into. So there could be certain situations where there's unknowns, facts of the matter that you don't quite know yet, or you're trying to figure out when High Priestess is in the mix. Extremely intuitive energy, and it's 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 nuanced, it's subtle. That's like the best way I could describe it. So let's get her back right up there. Now, moving to the very back end, another Piscean card. So as I already mentioned earlier in the spread, in the month of February, the back end, we do turn into Pisces season. So Spirit could really be pointing at Pisces season for a lot of Capricorns in this time. Like, hey, something significant might be going down, okay? And we'll see what it is as we move throughout the reading. Now, this one could also link to the Cancerians. That's your opposite sign on the zodiacal wheel. This is the ruling luminary. And there's just so many similarities with the High Priestess. It's a subtle energy. It's intuitive. Your empathy could be extra heightened. A lot of emotional energy is in the mix here when I see this Capricorn. But yeah, this is my biggest card, the mystery, the unexpected, the surprising, which is a theme I've been seeing around a lot of the Zodiac. This isn't just you. I've been seeing it for like a ton of people. Okay, Even the bonus readings I posted up yesterday, it, was all, it all had surprises in tow. So this moon could be really intriguing for us to dig into deeper. Just so much water energy here. I'm not accustomed to seeing this in an earth sign reading. But I want to dive deeper on all the Capricorn. Let's jump in and clarify. All right, let's get a good shuffle here for my friends, please. What do we got for Capricorn, my gods? And yes, this is where I go intuitive with the message, which means I just tell you how it feels to me. So feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot. Because as you know, every single reading is about the reader's interpretation. And I'm just giving you mine. Let's go in on that five of cups here. Oh, and yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages that you want to give to Capricorn, you can drop it right down in the comments. I don't mind at all. Five of Cups time. Why is it here? Who's going through one? Thank you. Justice in reverse. Now, this does imply to me, all right, some of you watch out for legal situations in this time, specifically contractual things as well. We have justice in reverse. That's just a warning for some of you here. When I see Lady Justice in reverse, it does speak about something just not feeling right or something that could be off kilter here. So I do feel for some of you, you could be going through a couple of serious situations, whether they're internal. For some of you, it might just all be internal, but I would not take it any less serious, right? Even if it's not like if your day to day life is fine, if your routine is fine, uh, your monetary is fine, work is fine, family's fine, and internally there's just something off and it's not feeling right, or there's something you're not understanding or clicking with, 
I would take it seriously here. Like try to balance those scales. Now, Lady Justice does connect to Libra. For some of you that are connected to Libra, watch out. They might be going through a tough time or you could be bumping heads with a Libra here. But when Lady Justice is in reverse, yes, it could talk about karma. So yeah, maybe we will have a karmic warning depending on what shows up throughout the rest of the reading. But to me, her in reverse, there's just something off kilter, something off balance. And it's a situation that should be taken seriously. Now, for some of you, you are taking something seriously. Like, okay, no, I have my eyes on it. I'm watching it. I'm keeping tabs on it. And I'm not playing this off. So I would say for a lot of you, this is something that you should take seriously. But specifically, if you are going through any legal situation, contractual situations, read the fine print. Like, check and double check, dot the I's, cross the T's, because spirit could be throwing you a little warning there. So a lot of stuff. Like, and that's one thing I will say, this just feels like a lot of energy. So in the month of February, Capricorn, there could just be so much energy moving through you and working through you. And with all this sensitivity, it could throw you off your bearings a little bit. Let's go in on the High Priestess. As I said, whatever this may be to you, like maybe this is somebody you're connected to going through a serious situation. But for some of you, it should be taken like, okay, I, I see it and I'm going to do something about it. So let's go in on that High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess in the mix? Thank you. Okay. I do see a recovery here, which is a good thing. Regardless of the situation that we have in the front end, um, I'm not getting total loss type of energy. So we do have the Queen of Wands. For some of you, this could be a very deep energetic connection to a fire sign. So if that's for some of you, take that message because... This does feel like somebody getting their groove back in one way or another. For a lot of you, there could be a lot of solace and spirituality for you. Like, it doesn't matter if you're usually connected or if you're not. Spirit could be asking you to find your way back to some sort of spirituality. Now, the Queen of Wands is a card of confidence, beauty, sexiness. So when I see it under an internal card of hidden confidence, like this just feels really positive to me. Whatever situation's going on doesn't feel like a total loss, and there can be a bounce-back recovery here. I don't yet want to say it's a win coming up, but this Queen of Wands generally super positive, confident energy. If not, this is just a powerful connection to a fire sign showing up here in an extremely powerful way. So just know their energy could be affecting you if you're connected to an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. But there could be a bounce back recovery for some of you towards the latter end of the month, specifically when we get into Pisces season. That's just something I'm seeing here. So Let's just leave it at that. I'm not going to overcomplicate it. We're going to keep moving forward. For a portion of you, yeah, there's maybe some confusion or mystery surrounding a fire sign or a feminine figure. That could absolutely be it. But let's go in on the moon. Then we'll do a quick recap before we get into the shadow card. So let's go in on here. And another thing I want to point to with all this water energy. Now we have divine feminine energy along the bottom. These are powerful internal energies. Okay, so keep that in mind. There's a lot going on on the inside. So let's see why the moon is here. Thank you. Not once. All right, yeah, this could be somebody like making a move or doing something that you don't quite expect. Okay, and that is a vibe. Once again, I've been seeing it throughout the Zodiac where like some people, maybe they're affected by the moon. Maybe something's going to happen around the time of the full moon, but... A card of action underneath the moon is literally somebody just doing something that you don't expect them to do. And I've been seeing it over and over and over again throughout the whole entire Zodiac for the past couple of weeks. And it's showing up for you now as well. So just watch out. Like maybe the people around you, the people surrounding you, they could be acting a little off the wall. I know a ton of Capricorns in my personal life, very good at pattern recognition and knowing how people act and how they react. There could be a lot of people throwing you for a loop in this time, okay? Now, whether that's for good or bad, I'm not getting anything inherently negative here on the back end. I just feel like people throwing you for a loop, like what the hell are you doing? Or what's gotten into you type of energy? So there could be an unexpected action here on the back end. I don't feel like this is the main crux of the whole situation. Once again, I just have to give that message I was kind of picking up here in the middle. There could be big leaps, gains, and developments when we reach Pisces season. Because remember, we have this serious situation or problem here in the front end. 
then we have a recovery. Now we're getting into this action on the back end. It's all very similar. It's all very pattern-like. So for a lot of you, if you are going through difficulties, there could be big developments. There could just be big developments in general once we cross into Pisces season at the back end of February. So make take a mental note of that. If you are connected to a fire sign, it's showing up here huge. We have most of the Zodiac, but let's go through and do a quick recap. Then we'll get into the shadow card with the Tower of Sacred Kingdoms. If you kindly, kindly look in the box, Position number one, and I already gave you all the different repeating themes that we've had. We have the Five of Cups with Lady Justice in reverse. So watch out for legal situations, contractual things. Read and check and double check, dot the I's, cross the T's. Yes, this could be some sort of karmic energy that you're still dealing with and working through. But a big vibe I was picking up is a serious situation. Something just might be off. So keep that in mind. Whether it's internal or external, you should take it seriously, okay? Moving to the center, we have the High Priestess with the Queen of Wands in the upright. Some sort of bounce back recovery, which is really good. Specifically, as we get into Pisces season, things could really speed up for a lot of you. If I were giving this like an energetic forecast. So this could be good. There is very strong connection to fire sign for some of you. So just know maybe someone else's energy is really affecting you in a big way. Getting to the back end, we have the moon with the knight of wands in the upright. So unexpected actions, which I've been seeing all over the place. I would say for some of you, people could be acting different than they normally do. And it's like, whoa, what's gotten into you? But expect the unexpected when that energy is in the mix. So yeah, please take a screenshot of that Capricorn. Let's get into the tarot of sacred kingdoms. And we're gonna get you a shadow card now. Okay. I usually I usually use the Shadowland Tarot, but let's get it going here. One Shadow card here for you, Cappy. I really like the insights of this deck. And yes, if you're new here, I always like to pull one Shadow card at the very end just to see whether it's something within you or something you don't quite see. A Shadow card doesn't always have to be bad. So let's get you one here. Maybe it'll give us more detail about this watery moon energy on the back end. What's in the shadows for Capricorn? Oh, and yes, if you've made it to this point in reading, please feel free to check out channel memberships. I'll put a link for it down in the comments below. It is a beautiful way to support the channel, and I have much love and appreciation for all my channel members, so no pressure. But let's get it going. One shadow card for Kathy. What do we got for my friends? Okay. Powerful, the star. So that big future focus is tying it back in here on the end. Now, the star does represent... Aquarius, at the time of this reading, currently we are in Aquarius season. So notice within the reading itself, it has this zodiacal season and the next one that we're moving into. Uh, this could be a big time of importance for a lot of you. Now, the star generally speaks about someone's feelings of hope. It's a card of wish fulfillment and happiness. So when this shows up as a shadow card, this could be spirit saying like, hey, something big's coming in for you, Capricorn, something big and good. So I really do like to see this, but to me, this is also a card of the future. So keep your long-term goals in mind in this time. Like don't take your eyes off the prize and most specifically, don't lose hope. There could be a small number of you who could be going through things in this time that are making you feel a little hopeless. And if that's the case, this is a little reassurance from Spirit saying, like, listen, Capricorn, you got this. Like, don't lose hope in yourself. Don't lose hope in this. So nice way to end it, Capricorn. That's what I have for you for your bonus reading this month, my friends. Don't click away just yet, though. I'm going to give you the details of the February subscriber surprise. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, please feel free to go over to my website, mastermetaphysics.com, to check out my digital calendar. But for the February subscriber surprise, I'm giving away two copies of the beautiful Everyday Witches Tarot. It's one of my go-to decks, and it is absolutely awesome. So if you'd like to get your name in for this, it's two simple things. As always, my friends, first, you must be subscribed. And second, let me know down in the comments, out of all the tarot suits, which one vibes with your energy the best? Is it the wands, the pentacles, cups, or swords? You'll be entered to win. And at the end of February, I'll announce the winners in my community tab. As always, my friends, much love, and I'll see you soon.